In the previous video, we looked at how to use the image tracing tool to import an image file into the Scan and Cut Canvas workspace. Let's look at what to do next. This is what the image that I traced. And what I want to do uh, first is to enter a name for the project and then click the Save button to save it. And now I'm going to, going, to, going to go ahead and do a little inspecting to make sure that everything is correct as I expect it to be. And to start, I'll go ahead and click and uh, to select each of the shapes that I see in my workspace. Alternatively, uh, you can just click the A uh, key on your keyboard, and this will select all of the images in the workspace. And the next thing I'll do is to um, add color to the, the uh, image. To do that, I click the Show Properties icon, and then I use the color picker to select a color. And this is the end result. I count one, two, three, four extra shapes here. Um, of course, these should, these should show as white or a show is blank, and I don't want these extra shapes here. So I need to simplify it. And how what I do is I'll select the shape and then just drag it out of the way. And I'll do that for each of the extra shapes that I see here. And then all I can do is just select them and delete them all. And this is the end result. Now let's go ahead and do one additional thing. We're gonna use the count tool to count to see how many images or how many shapes that it counts in the workspace. I count one, two, three, four, five. And I want to make sure that Canvas Workspace also counts five. Sometimes what will happen is a little uh, image will be hidden underneath this top layer, and that can cause problems when you try to cut it in your scan and cut. So what I'll do is select the project tab and then click the count shapes tool and it tells me that there are five shapes and that's exactly what I want it to be I would I, I'm that tells me that everything's fine and the next step is to group the shapes together so I'll go ahead and select all of the images and or click the a uh, button on my keyboard and then click the edit tab and then G, or excuse me, and then the group um, icon here. Alternatively, you would select them and then click the G uh, key on your keyboard. And then that will select all, group all of the shapes together. And you can see now that there's only one um, selection here um, and that that will allow me to go ahead and download it uh, to my scan and cut so that I can cut it uh, easily. So what I'll do is I'll click the save key to save it again to Canvas Workspace in my, my uh, projects area. And then I can go ahead and download it to my scan and cut. Um, the other thing you can do before you download it is to resize it to the shape that you want it to just be to the size that you want it to be and then you're done.